Beach main event is sponsored by Hallowed Head of Computer Bongo Met Off is 32. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges going to stop test an octagon side are Ben Cartledge, Derek Cleary, and Sal Diamato. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Jason Herzog. This championship bout is sponsored by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC, and Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. Unravel a conspiracy decades in the making, available November 13th. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you truly all been waiting for. Live from UFC Fight Island in Abu Dhabi, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introduce it first. Fighting out of the blue corner. A big martial artist, holding professional record. 22 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, by way of Stafford, Arizona, USA. Presenting the interim UFC lightweight champion, the challenger. Justin, the high loss, Danny And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist, holding a perfect professional record, 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib, the Eagle, Namagomedov. First going for the rules in the back, there were no final question from you, Blue. There were no final question from you, Red. You've already touched gloves, come out ready to fight. Talk to me, DC. Big fight for you, man, in Abu Dhabi. Everyone knows this is the toughest fight, the best fight in under 55 pounds, and we are finally here. We will see who is the champion. Can Justin Gaethje get it done, or does Khabib remain the champ in the dominant force of the division? Khabib in his usual role as Bennett favorite, minus 315, Justin Gaethje is plus 250, Gaethje is in blue with the gold trim, Khabib is in the black and gold befitting a champion, the way to answer this epic title unification bout, we shall see who has the upper hand, Khabib pretty relaxed man, having a moment with you before the fight, yeah man, you know, this is a big time fight, you know, but this guy's been here before, but this is the range that Justin needs to be at. You see how he's far away to where Habib does change levels. Justin can defend and see it coming. I really do believe that this is one of the keys to why Justin has made the improvements that he's made. Is that he, look at his footwork, look at his movement. He's never stationary. He's a moving target now. He's not just a zombie trying to walk guys down and make him fight him in a fair, uh, firefight. That's a good point, especially one to make early. There are layers to his game, a lot of setups and... He has impeccable timing with that right hand. We'll see if he can find a home for it tonight. And the kicks. You know, Habib has to try to close the distance here. But you cannot be reckless with a guy that has dynamite in his hands like Justin Gage. <laughs> Anthony Davis chiming in, watching UFC 254 at home. Big right hand from Habib lands and a nice counter shot from Gage. And when you get an athlete like Habib Nurmagomedov, you know, at times they want to prove that, wait, I'm not so outclassed in this one area of a fight. I can stand. But the moment Dustin believes this is a stand up fight, that is when he's going to try to change levels and get to the base. You notice Gagey's stance a little lower today. Of 
stance in a Ferguson fight. Mm. The fight is very tall. The right, you see him almost in a lower stance, more of a wrestling stance. Nice jab lands for Nurmagomedov. Mm-hmm. Off. Got two minutes to five. There's that patented play kick from Gage. Nurmagomedov mm. has a fantastic jab, man. That pacing pressure of Habib is what separates him from most guys. Justin's gonna have to be able to stay with this. KG has successfully thwarted the first takedown attempt of Marco Medov, who touches the dose to the body there. Right hand lands for KG. Justin needs to tighten it up a little bit there, man. That's not something you saw much in the Ferguson fight when he started to throw big shots. Coach Whitman told him, slow it down, you don't have to load up on everything. You don't have to knock him out with every shot. And when Justin did that, it's when he started to win if he's Tony Ferguson up. Beautiful body kick lands for Nevada. Then on now the jab follows up. It's that pressure, man. Look at the pressure how he puts on you. The whole time he's got Justin on his heels. He's not allowing Justin to take the center of the afternoon. Look like a pretty big knee there, if I'm not mistaken. So the Bible met up realizing some success on the feet here three minutes in. And a lot of that success comes from the idea that Justin has to defend takedown shot. You see him almost dropping his hands and head every time Habib enters. But look at the pressure that Habib is putting on Gaethje right now. And now that's hand of all the goals, you'll smile on Gaethje. Oh, now another body kick from Uncle Mello throws a flying knee, so not necessarily the point to prove, but this is a well-rounded mixed martial arts. Yeah, he is. And look at the jab of Habib. He's working, he's popping Gaethje, but ultimately he does need to mix in the wrestling. He has only attempted one takedown thus far unofficially. Well, the problem with Justin Gage is right now he's trying to react to everything Habib is doing. He's got to find a way to get some respect and stop Habib from walking down like this. Oh, nice body shot. The left hook comes out from Gage. Habib eats it without issue. Yeah, but that one needs to get respect, right? Every time Justin hits people with that, he gets respect. Right now, Habib's still walking it down. Don't like this. Didn't go like this that Gage is. Right hand over the top, partially lands for Gage. And again, that front kick of the mother went off the tower left for Gage lands. Beautiful shot there on the double leg, and Ronaldo Mello has his first takedown. That's one of his best attacks, right? He shoots the double leg with his head going onto your left side, but ultimately, it looks like it's going left, but it goes to the right, and he ends up on the opposite side and sets it to your hips. Now Habib is exactly where he needs to be in the KC control. So he starts to walk Justin's legs over to the left and split his knees. That will make Justin want to go to his knees to get away. Or go the opposite when Habib will slide right in the mouth, which he is right now. So the ball goes back off, trying to punch with the first round, maybe get a finish and isolate an arm. Final seconds of round one. Strong start for the champion. Great run by the Mega Metal. Take a seat. Take a big breath from me. Hey. Look at me. He's good. He's good. Hey. Keep controlling. Slow it down. Okay. Nice one, man. Keep it. Hey. No, I like the feet. You gotta keep the feet. I'm telling you, eight more low kicks, but don't you get fucking lazy. Because he already can't walk on his leg. We need to keep him driving from outside. Right here you see Justin Gaethje enter with that inside leg kick. He has to keep doing this. Habib with the beautiful jab. Walking Justin Gaethje down, left hook, right hand. Gaethje lands a beautiful left hook there. Habib shoots the double leg, gets the corner, sets Gagey out, ends up in the mouth, and rides his submission. Great first round by both of these athletes. And in the red corner, they did put some ice on that left leg of Khabib Nurmagomedov, so we will keep an eye on that. And clearly for Trevor Whitman, they want him to attack that furiously tonight. Yeah, told him to slow it down, right? It's the same message we heard in the first fight. Slow it down. No need to rush. But Habib wants this pace to be very fast. You can see him telling Jason hurts off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. As the second round started. Like big for Nurmagomedov met up now. Combination appeared to partially land. Left hand 
damn hot in the ear, Lance. Yo, did she? Beautiful footwork, good by Finchie. It's kind of circling into the power of the man. No, you gotta be careful going to his left. Another light kick. To balance you like that. That one seemed to hurt the champ a little bit. You saw how he take a bad step after that leg kick landed. And now Kenshi goes inside and lands. Remarkable battle back to the well with that front kick. Oh, beautiful take though by the big amount against the back. Wow. Right into the full mount. I mean, that was a fantastic transition with a lot of time. He's going to go right back to the same position. Oh, it's going to triangle here. Second triangle into the other. Oh, a triangle took by the big amount. Oh, it's going to go back. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. A beautiful, the beautiful triangle choke finish. I mean, you never know what he's going to pull out next. Justin Gaethje tapped a long time ago, but didn't jump in and he went to sleep. But wow, what a performance by the number one powerful fighter, powerful, powerful fighter in the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. And Habib Nurmagomedov is immediately resorted to tears, and you can be sure, bottling up a lot of those emotions here during this fight week. Without his late father, Abdulmanak Nurmagomedov, and now that the mission is accomplished and the task is done, he can exhale and an amazing display from Gaethje coming in. Both of these guys managed by Ali Abdelaziz, who is watching intently somewhere in the world, but just too good, man. Too good. I mean, a lot of people felt like Gaethje was a live underdog, the best guy that Habib had faced was everywhere. Just too good everywhere, right? There is no area where this Khabib no matter what can't fight. There's no area, yo. And look at this moment as he finally is able to exhale. Right? This fight happens in, in October. And, you know, his father passed in the summer and he went right into this. It was a distraction. I know he gets to let it all out. Well, and if Khabib Nurmagomedov's goal coming in here was to leave as the number one out-for-out fighter in the world, he's that. Beat the interim champion like that. He's that, man. I mean, JT landed some beautiful kicks. But once Habib got up to the ground, they were, they were just on a different level. Right here, Habib goes to the mount. It looked like he was going to go to an arm triangle, but immediately he goes back into the same position as the first round. Looked like he was going to attack arm bar, but instead he goes triangle. I mean, I've seen him do this before in the rest in the practice room, but I have never seen him pull it off in a fight. Didn't know if he would be comfortable enough to try it. But right here, you see Gage try to pull back. Then he starts to tap here. I don't know how this was. It seemed as he slams Habib down, Watch his left arm, John. There's a tap. There's a, There's a second right. tap. You know, he tapped four times again. And um, eventually he passed out, and Habib keeps that championship. Uh, what a phenomenal performance by the champ. And honestly, this guy's the number one powerful power fighter in the world, unquestioned, after dominating an interim champion like that, especially after Justin looked as he did against Sony Curtis. You will not get an argument from me. And what a moment. For Khabib with Javier Mendez and the rest of his team. This is one of the most exceptional professional athletes and human beings that there is out there. And you just can't imagine all the pressure that he was under and everything that was going through his mind as the tributes for his late father continue to pour in. Quite a fighter right there, and it's just hard to think about a lightweight solving the puzzle. That is Khabib Nurmagomedov. Right, the official decision brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. You could save massive money on your mortgage with the incredibly low rates from Guaranteed Rate. Act now by visiting rate.com. One final time tonight, here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 34 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by technical submission due to a triangle choke. And still undefeated and the UFC... Undisputed, lightweight champion of the world, Bobby!